Okay, so I'm sitting here with the luscious, lovely Meg and the very first hashtag ask Meg questions come in and uh, the question is is what does Meg and Amy like to do what's their favorite thing to do um, in the sanctuary and so I'm gonna put the question to old Meg Meggy Meg what is your favorite thing to do in the sanctuary eh? okay she's communicating it to me and the answer <laughs> besides chewing on Kevin's neck is their favorite thing in the whole wide world is to get out the enclosure load in the vehicle and go out into the greater area and just be lions and they love nothing more than to do that um, and uh, just to exercise, run a bit, sniff the wilderness, uh, scratch on the ground and be in a different area. So that's, yeah, that's your favorite thing besides chewing on Kevin's leg or face. <laughs> Is it true, Meg, that lions have incredible powers of recovery or of rejuvenation uh, once they've had an injury like a cut or a sprain or a bruise? Tell me. Is it true? Hmm. You're still might, yeah? Hmm. Wow. Okay, so Meg has answered a emphatic yes, it is true. Lions are incredibly uh, powerful when it comes to the powers of rejuvenation. And this obviously makes sense through um, thousands of years of evolving or having the need to evolve to, to be tough um, because one cannot um, allow an injury to, to hold, hold one, oneself up. Um, for example, if a lion has a debilitating injury and can't keep up with the pride, it can spell, um, it can mean the difference between life or death. So I've seen it myself. I've seen lions with uh, deep gashes that for most humans that were put in hospital and at least have some stitches. Um, and a course of antibiotics and and whatnot, but with a lion you come literally in two to three days later and you go Oh my goodness, where's the injury gone? And it makes sense being a, a predator that does stand the risk of getting injured quite often Another question as we sit here in the night pen trying to cool off on another blistering hot day is the Question to you Meg is how many times a week do I come and visit you? and how many times do we walk and are you my favorite in other words do i spend more time with you than the other lines that's her ignoring face so what she's basically saying is that i don't spend enough time with her and two to three times a week is not enough and once a week a walk for once a week is definitely not enough and she thinks I have favorites at this park and she's not one of them. Which is not true, Meg. And now she's sulking. <laughs> so if you have any more questions for Meg, please uh, send them to either the Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. And remember to ask the question not to me, but to Meg with the hashtag AskMeg. Thanks. Meg, really?